What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video, man. I already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the vibes, comment down below with the bell and subscribe. Yes, sir. Let's get right to it, man. So, last video, I told y'all I was going to show y'all how to turn this uh, Tyrannus coil, which is their version, coil's version of a Tesla Model X. I told y'all I was going to uh, show y'all how to turn this into a real Tesla with the badges. And I'm going to do just that in the video. So we're going to turn this Tyrannus sign right here into a Tesla sign. We're going to turn, we're going to change the badges right there. And we also going to change that, uh, we're going to change that right there. Take that Tyrannus off. Put the Tesla sign on there. Uh, I'm going to even put some Tesla emblems in the speedometer. If I can, or the tackle meter. Or however y'all say it, man. Anyway, man, let's get right to it, man. Here we go. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Let's get right to it, son. So, link will be in the description. This is the car if you guys haven't downloaded it already. Hit that link in the description. It's going to bring you right here to this page. Coil Tyrannus add-on. So we're gonna come right down here. We're gonna smash that download button right there, son. That's pretty much it. Once we get that done, we are going to open up our downloads folder, all right? And you will see right here, 71337A Coil Terranus. Go ahead and double click on that jank. Boop. All right. Now, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. For those. Y'all know I'm all about my newbies, bro. Dang it. All right. Go ahead and open up your DLC packs folder. We're going to put that right here. I'm going to just show y'all newbies how to throw it in the game real quick if y'all don't know. Open up your open IV. Now, and, and we also going to open up that downloads folder. Got that open right there. Boom. Downloads folder. DLC packs. Open IV. Let's get to it. Make sure edit mode is on, of course, right here. Yes, of course. And we are going to go to the mods folder. Double click. Update. Update.rpf. Common. Data. When you get right here, come to favorites. Add to favorites. Excuse me. And I put add-ons. Just like that. I put add-ons. When you get that done, hit the word add right there. I already done it, so I ain't going to do it. But if you ain't done it, go ahead and do it. And what that does is, let's say you're right here in the beginning. You hit favorites. Hit add-ons. Boom. And it's going to bring you right here. So once you get here, all you got to do is scroll down just a little bit. Just a little bit. You're going to see dlclist.xml. You're going to right-click on that jank. Hit edit. Scroll roll down to the bottom. Now, I like for y'all to disregard the item lines, the three item lines that's way to the left. Y'all should be straight in line. Like, all y'all item lines should be straight in line. Don't worry about that, son. That's that split. That split. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. All right. Take that last item line that's in line with everything else. Highlight the whole item line from parentheses to greater less than sign you know that crap we did in school that don't apply to us after we grown unless we an accountant or something all right once you highlight the whole item line hit copy then you're gonna come right here to the front click on that then hit enter to make a space a new line then you're gonna hit paste you got double then you're gonna highlight that double whatever the name of whatever it is on your computer because it's not gonna be the same as mine Inside the backslashes, you're going to highlight that junk. Once that's highlighted, come down here to your downloads folder. Open up that Tyrannus if it ain't still open. Bro, get out of here, bro. Hold on, guys, because it comes just like this. All right, this is what I want y'all to do, because I forgot it comes without the freaking folder in it. God dog it, bro. Come on, man. Y'all got to put these things together better than this now. All right. Right click on your desktop. Hit new. Hit folder. And you're going to name that folder Terrain. It's just like I'm doing. 
T-A-R-A-N-I-S. I said T-A-R-A-N-I-S. Yeah, name it that. Now you're going to take this DLC.RPF and drag and drop it right inside that folder. Make sure it's highlighted and release. Bloop. Once that's done, you are going to drag that folder into your DLC packs in the drop zone way over here to the right where ain't nothing else touching ain't nothing highlighted over here and release once you do that you'll see this right here once you see it's highlighted and it's in the DLC packs go ahead and left click on that joint again it's gonna highlight the name you're gonna right click on that hit copy come right here and right click and hit paste and it's gonna change that last item line to Terranus once that's done, hit save. I already done it, so I ain't gonna do it, but if you ain't got to go ahead and do it. Now we're done with DLC packs. I mean, excuse me, we are done with OpenIV. We're done with the downloads folder. Now, it's time to change this Terranus into a Tesla. So, go ahead and open up the Terranus folder in your DLC packs. Click on that DLC pack or double click it. If you do not see the OpenIV symbol, if you see the Internet Explorer symbol or, or any other symbol on this, right click, hit open with, and select Open IV. If you don't see Open IV here, click on more apps. If you still don't see Open IV, go to look for another app on this PC. Go up to desktop, and you should see Open IV somewhere toward the bottom. Click on that joint and hit open. And from that point forward, Every DLC you open, no matter the car, you should see that DLC symbol on everything. Alright? Back to the Terranus. Once you're here in this spot, go ahead and double click on that DLC and it should load up OpenIV once again. So we're going to let that load real quick. Let it load. Let it load. Can't wait on this anymore. Hit that edit mode, of course. And follow your boy, X64 double click, vehicles.rpf, and you will see these three files, terranus.yft, high.yft, and the ytd. Go ahead and click on the high.yft real quick. Just double click on that. This shows us what the car looks like. Now, it ain't showing the bumper. That's cool because, it. yeah, I ain't going to get into all of that. But you see the front badge is the coil badge. We're going to change that to a Tesla badge. We are going to, let me get in this car. We're going to change this to Tesla. We're going to change, yeah, we're going to change all this right here to pretty much whatever y'all want to change it to. And we're going to change this badge to Tesla. And we're going to change this from Terranus to Tesla. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If you're looking for a quick tutorial, this ain't the one. I'm going to try to make it. I ain't, I ain't going to drag it out long. I'm going to get right to it. But I'm going to make sure y'all get this. You feel me? So let's go ahead and click into the Terranus.YTD. Go ahead and double click into that. Before I do it, I'm going to delete what I already did on my desktop. So I'm not making duplicates. Alright, that's what I did. Alright, that's all. Alright. Once you clicked in here, a few things I want you guys to look at. We're going to look at this guy right here, the core screen. I want you to right click on the core screen right here and hit export then from here we're going to go to save as type we're going to change it from dds file to png image very important if you don't do it you will not be able to customize this once that's done make sure let's just go ahead and save it to your desktop right here save boom that's done next come right here to terrain to that don't even say terrain is that say terrain crease lights right click on that export come change it to from DDS to PNG excuse me I was yawning y'all it's late alright once you change that hit save let me go straight to your desktop uh, let's change we're gonna add some Tesla emblems right here to the speedometer so let's right click on that export change it from DDS to PNG and save and lastly but surely not leastly 
we are going to grab this Baltic badge right click export change it from DDS to PNG and save now we can go ahead and hit cancel on this right here and it's time to go to work minimize don't exit out of this minimize it to minimize it minimize that all right first one we want to work on it really don't matter but uh let's work on this one first the terrainus the lights so y'all see boink 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 and boink let's do the lights first we're gonna right click on the lights we're gonna hit edit with paint 3d once that is up my frame you see it's actually upside down so we want to put it back exactly where the hell we found it so in order to change that from Tesla to whatever this is what I recommend we are going to get a high yellow something very noticeable so let's click yellow we're gonna come right here to our pixel pen click that I'm gonna bring the thickness down about two now I'm gonna zoom in with my mouth with with the wheel on my mouse so I'm gonna just scroll that up zoom in on that or you can zoom in by hitting this right here and then coming right here on the side dragging that down either way is fine and I want you guys to make a mark outside of the T just a line from where it starts so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna make a line don't have to be perfect and stop where it stops come over here to the S where it starts and where it stops then right here in the middle we are gonna get one down here at the bottom just a little line and one here and I call these our guidelines this is where we are gonna put the Tesla we are gonna fit the Tesla into that so grab the black now color black and I'm gonna make the thickness bigger take it up to about 10 and we are going to go over the T A pretty much just you know what I mean color over that if you need to zoom in so you don't mess up cool and like I said guys I'm zooming in and out with the wheel on my mouse alright let's get this here alright once we got all that done all we have is our guidelines and now it's time to find the Tesla signage and put it there upside down of course you want to put it exactly how the other one was open up your Internet Explorer I'm gonna go to Tesla logo PNG hit PNG so we can get something with no background all right let's go to click on images oh, okay wow I like this for that radio I like that y'all gonna see y'all gonna see these badges right here grab one that's a PNG image I'm gonna click on this one it says PNG how you can tell it's a PNG when you look at it you'll kind of see the 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 little symbols in the background the little cross patterns let you know it's a PNG all right so I'm gonna right click on that and hit save image as and I'm a, you can save it to your desktop. Yeah, let's save it to the desktop. Save. That's one. We do need that badge. But I also need the name. I need that name. I also need... Let's see. Let's get this PNG or the actual Tesla image. Let's get that too. Right click. Save image as. And just save it to your desktop. Alright, what else we say we gonna do? Uh... I need the Tesla name, that little name right there, by itself though. Let's see, where you at? Is it? Yeah, this, this, yeah, this will do right here. This will do right here. It's by itself. It's a PNG. I hope. Right click on that. Save image as and save to the desktop. And then for the radio, we can put another Tesla car in there. Something like this right here. Matter of fact. Let's do <clears throat> Tesla Model X PNG. Bam, there we go. 
I think I got last one I got was this one this is a PNG right here so I'm gonna right click on that and hit save image as boom <clears throat> I think you know I like this one too that's dope too um which one I, I don't know we'll we'll, we'll 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 do that one but pick whichever one you want as long as it's a PNG you know what I'm saying we're gonna make it look nice we're gonna make it look real good so we got our where are they at okay here's the Tesla logo Tesla badge where is the that's the test okay so right here that's a Tesla words the, the signage and this is the car okay PNG PNG when I hover over this it says it's a JPG file that's not a PNG so we need to go back up there and find a freaking PNG yeah. I'll wait till I get in there let me let me let me let me go ahead and get this show started all right we back here so let's go ahead and put the Tesla words in here guys we're gonna hit menu insert and I'm gonna go to desktop and let's look for it. It should throw it in alphabetical order if I'm not mistaken. I think. Tesla. All right, there we go. Tesla logo silver. Click on that joint and hit open. Boom. Now you see these white lines here. It stretches out to compensate the size of whatever you inserted. So we got to make sure we crop these white lines back down to fit this screen when we're done. Or it will look up. Okay, so let's hit them corners, size it way down, bring it over here, down. Don't click, because if you mess around and accidentally click, boom, you stuck. All right, we might can uh, hit select. Let's see if we can hit select then. All right, so I got it back. I uh, see what happens when you get it back. Yeah, let me back out. So be careful not to click until you got it where you wanted it. Let me get it again. All right, got it. Size it down. Drag it here. I'm going to zoom in. I need to size it some more. Now, take this. I'm going to flip it upside down about 180 degrees. That's exactly upside down. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Bring it up. And let's stretch this bad boy out. Stop right there and stop right there. All right, that's cool. let me bring it in some right there. All right, that's cool with me, y'all. It's inside the guidelines that we made. Now we can click. Boop. Bam. Once we got that there, let's get our pixel pen over here again. Get the color black. Zoom in, and we're gonna take the yellow lines. We're gonna take our guidelines out. Be careful not to hit that Tesla, or you'll have to just go back and do it again. That's all. Boom. All right. That part is done. That part is done. And whatever you put there, if you want to put your name right there, that's fine, too. Uh, whatever you want to put there, but we're going to just make it a Tesla. Hell, you can put Chevy right there. You can put your name, your kid name. You can put Lamborghini right there, whatever you want to do. But once you're done with that, only thing to do, remember I said these white, these white lines, we need to crop them back. So let's hit the crop button up here. We're going to pull them in. Pull that one in. Now let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get it right up on there. And boom. Back on out. Come to this side. Get right up in there. Boom. All right top is still good yeah top is good so once you bring it in hit done now you are ready to save so we're gonna come to menu and just hit save and we can exit out now where you go where you at where you at right here that says Tesla now so next let's do the dials so let's right click on these rating dials and hit edit with paint 3d 
All right, let's hit menu. We're going to rock right into it. Let's hit menu, insert, and find a Tesla logo right there. That's the one I want. Open. So, man, I want to bring that down. I'm going to put that joint like right there. Bring it out. Right there, cool. Bring it down. That looks cool. Well, I can't because I, I, I'm gonna put one here too. So I wanted to kind of well, mm, bring it in some, make it look nice. All right, I guess that's cool. Click when you're done. So that's there. That's there. Now I'm gonna get the. Should I just leave one or two? Uh, let's get another one. Insert. Find it right there. Zoom in. Let's see if I can make it that same size. I'm just putting it over here so I can size it. Move it over here. Okay, I'm going to have to come off of that a little bit should have did this one first I ain't gonna lie alright boom because this one is red I'm gonna make it green I'm gonna get my eyedropper right here I'm gonna click in on this green I'm gonna hover over that green and click that changes my color to the same color as that then I'm going to hit my paint bucket and I'm gonna hit this Boom and boom. I got one red one, one green one. Now, before we save, let's crop it back down. Y'all should be getting the hang of this now. So, I'm going to kind of zip through the other ones because I don't like holding y'all too long. But I want to make sure y'all get this. I enjoy the views, but at the same time, you know, I don't like reviews and tutorial or well, tutorials where uh you gotta be done rewind the video like 88 times i want to make sure y'all get this on the first go maybe the second once y'all crop it back down hit done should look like that and then we're gonna hit menu and save boom see that next let's do the badge next since that's gonna that's gonna be extremely quick right click on the voltage badges Edit with Paint 3D. Alright, now because this has no border and it's going to size that out, we want to crop it back down to the same size. So here's a little trick I like to do. Come right here and get the spray can. Click on the spray can. Get get our famous yellow that we like to use for our guidelines. We're going to bring the thickness down to about, what, 10, let's, let's bring it down to 33 or something. Just bring it, bring it, bring it down to your liking. Uh, let me bring it all the way down. I'm going to come right here to the corner. Now, nah, let me bring it up a little bit. 30. I'm going to come right here to the corner. And I'm going to spray just a little bit. Come right here to the corner. Spray just a little bit. Here. And I'm doing that by just holding the left mouse down. Left side of the mouse down to spray. Boom. Boom. Those are my guidelines for the cropping. Now, I'm going to hit menu, insert, find that Tesla badge right here. Click on that joint and open. Now we got to size this down. Zoom in. Bring that down here. Scooch your butt over. Up. About right there. It ain't going to be perfect. As long as that top hit that top right there, that top line, cool. And I think that's good, y'all. That look good to me. So I'm going to go in and click. I'm done. Now, y'all see our little guidelines we use? It shows the actual shape of that square. That's why I did that with the paint can. So now let's hit the crop button. I'm going to get it small enough so I can zoom in. 
And let's crop them back down to where they're supposed to be at. Right about there. This side. There. The top. Boom. And the bottom. Uh, right there. And hit done. Once you're done with that, it should look just like that, like it was in the beginning. Don't worry about it looking kind of blurry. It's okay. It's going to look good in the game. Now, what are we going to do about our, boom, spray paint, spray can uh, guidelines? Let's hit the eraser right here now. And we're going to come right here and just bring that thickness down. You don't want to erase some of that badge. Hit that eraser. Get them sides right there. Erase all that color. Once all your color is erased and it look like that, go ahead and hit menu and save. And then we can exit out. Boom, look at that Tesla badge head ass. Last but not least, the coil screen. Right click on that, edit with Paint 3D. All right, let's do this, bro. First thing I'm gonna do, because I, want, I like how it's gray. And then it's got that darker red, like a splash of red in there. It's kind of like a accent or a, or a shadowish look. I like that color. So I'm going to grab my eyedropper right here. I'm going to hover over that color right here. Left click. Next, I'm going to come right here to the color that I just changed it to. Left click on that. You see the hex code? You're going to highlight the whole hex code, which is B5, B2, B5 right click on that and hit copy then you hit cancel here you come right down here to any color if you got pluses right here that means you don't have color saved you can just hit plus and you're done but if you got color saved right here you want to change the color right click edit come right here highlight whatever hex is in there right click and paste then you hit ok and you just save that color now what I want to do is grab my eyedropper again. Actually, do I want to make this white though? I want to make this screen white. No, nah, mm, no, nah, I ain't gonna make it white. Grab your eyedropper again. Highlight over this gray color here. Click that. And once that's clicked, we are going to get our pixel pen. Let's bring it up to about 15, somewhere around that region. Actually, let's go bigger. Let's see. Okay, I got mine on like 58. Be careful. Well, I'm going to bring it down and hit these corners. I'm going to get rid of it up. See, I, look, I done messed up. Let me back up. Let me bring it down a little bit just to get this top part off. We're going to erase that. Erase that terrain that's at the top. Now let's make it bigger. Actually, I want to keep the. Uh, I want to keep this. I want to keep the Fahrenheit. I, I, yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna try to work around that. Actually, I can't because if I'm gonna put the Tesla image back, well, I don't know. Let's see if we can keep it. Let's see if we can keep that. I'm going to be real delicate around this joint. Got that out of there. And can we keep San Andreas? Can we keep that? Let's see if we can do it. Actually, no, we're not going to keep San Andreas because the Tesla image is going to be right over that part. So let's go ahead and erase that. But try to keep this if you can. It just adds flavor to your... Uh, Big ass Tesla computer, tablet, radio thing on the jig of a bob. Now we can go larger, cover more area, more faster. Get all that out of there. I'm gonna come down here. Let's get this car. I'm gonna leave everything else down there. Boom. Oh, can I get that? Bring it down. Let's see if we can get that shadow. Can we get the shadow? 
without disturbing nothing else. Yeah, we can do it. We doing it. Yeah, we doing it. Shit, I'm doing it. I don't know how y'all doing, but I'm doing it. All right. Boom, got that. Now, if y'all want to erase the whole damn screen, by all means, erase the whole screen, and you can put your picture, family portrait, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to bounce it back like an original Tesla. All right, that's what it's looking like. That's what we looking like, and I'm gonna erase this, bro. I just, yeah. Let me get my color black. Erase that joint. All right, now we looking official. Official like a motherfucking whistle. All right. Menu. Insert. Find that Tesla logo right here. Actually, let's get this one first. Let's get this one. Tesla logo silver. Let's get that joint. Open that up. And we're going to put Tesla across the front of that pad. I don't know. Do you call this a radio in the Tesla? Like, what do you call it? It's a damn... It's big as hell. Stretch it on out. Stretch it on out. Bring it up. Bring that up a little bit. Boom, Tesla. I'm cool with that. And I'm going to paint that black. So let's grab the black color, the paint bucket. Bring it down to about eight. Splash that tank. Boom. 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 Tesla. Tesla, Tesla. Now, in game, this won't be black. This will be the same color as your car. So if you got this blue, this will be blue. So I ain't worried about it kind of being close to the top. I'm not really. Although it'll be, I don't know, I should have moved it down. But hell, it's all good. It don't matter. Next, we're going to get the Tesla logo. Insert. Boom. Open. Told y'all this wasn't going to be no quick one. All right, let's go open that up some. Let me come back. About right there. I like that. Bring it on down. Actually. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like that. That's in it. Looks in it to y'all. Yeah. Click. Now, that gray color we, we saved earlier. Let's grab that. That little shadowy gray looking joint. Grab the paint bucket. And hit that. Boom. Now it creates that faded effect. I like that. I like that. Next, let's put our car right there. Menu. Insert. What car did we get? I want to know is that car legit? Hit that. Is it a PNG or not? It's not a PNG. It's not a freaking PNG. Let's try to find one real quick, man. I'm just going to do Tesla PNG. Got to have a Model X in there somewhere. I mean, that's cool right there. I like that one. That's a P yep, that's a PNG. I like that. Right click, save image as, put it on the desktop. Now, let's go to menu and such. Let's find that thing. There it is right there. Insert. Yes, that's a PNG. No background. So let me size that down some. Bring it here. Size it up. Make it look official. Boom, that look good to me. Bam, that's our new radio. Tesla. Alright, now let's crop this back down. Crop. And you're just going to get the whole entire block right here. Bring it up. 
All right, let's zoom in. You're going to come down to this part right here, this gray part right there. Boom. For my side, y'all see the side, come to the black. Boom, right there. Right there. Here. And zoom all the way in if you got to, bro. See, I'm a little over right here. Let me go back. There we go. All right. Come over here. How we looking? Looking good? Now, right, let's hit that bottom. You're going to come up to the lighter gray. Right there. Right there. All right. Once you back in like that right there, done. Menu and save. Now, let's put all of our work back in uh, this file so we can check it out in the game. So let's open up that open our V we had earlier. Terrainus.ytd. We're going to double click on that. All right. Now, we're going to start with the coil screen right here, guys. Right click. This time, we're going to hit replace. Make sure you're on desktop because that's where we saved it to. Scroll down and find a screen that you did. Where's our screen? Where's our screen? There's it. There, there's it. There, there it is right there. Click on it. Open. Boom. There's our new screen. Next, speedometers right here. Right click on that. Hit replace. Scroll down till you see them janks. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Boom, boom, boom. Those are it right there. Radian dials open. Boom. Got our Tesla symbols, emblems, emblems. Got our Tesla emblems. Next, Terranquis lights. We replace. Right click and replace. Find them lights. That's it right there. Terra. Ter Ugh, I ain't saying that name no more. Open. See that change to Tesla. And last but not least, boom, 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 the badge. Now, if it don't move with the wheel no more after you add something, you got to click over here first. Then it moves with the wheel. Or just drag that right there. Boom. Hit this one right here. Right click. Hit replace. And that joint is right here. And open. Damn, that bitch big as. Is that the right one? No, that's not it. We looking for the one that says Voltic Badges, cause that's gonna be big as hell. That that you want to keep it the same size, bro. Trust me. Replace Voltic Badges right there. That's the one. Open. There we go. Once you got all four of those, the the the, volt, the, the badge, the speedometer, the name by the lights, and the uh, coil screen, hit save. If you don't hit save, it ain't going to be in the game. After you hit save, again, click on the Terranus high.yft file. Check your work. And boom, you see, we, I don't know, that big ass Tesla sign might look okay. Hmm, I wonder. But there's a Tesla emblem. Tesla in the back. Of course, you can't get rid of the coil. That's embedded in there. You got to go through Z Modeler to get that off. Tesla emblem right here. It did the front and the back. And there is our. Uh, there's our. There's our radio right there. All right. So let's hop in the game and check it out. And I'm gonna let y'all go, man. Hang tight. All right, guys, we are back in the game, and it is time to check our work. But before we check our work, please smash that sub button right there and the post notification bell so you can be notified every time your boy drops some heat. And I ran out of breath on that one, man, but y'all know what it is, man. All right, let's pull out that Galaxy Fold 3. And we're going to tell that thing to come on over here, man, so we can check out what's going on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good girl. Ooh. Yes, sir. 
Alright. Shout out to the forgies on this thing, bro. So first, let's check out that front badge. Tesla badge on there looking spiffy. We did that. Let's check out the bike. Tesla joint right there with the Tesla badge on the bike. You know what I'm saying? And whatever name you put right there should be or will be lighting up as well whenever you, uh, you know, that will be lighting up. And last but not least, boom. We got the speedometers right there. Love it. And this radio. Let me get up in now. Let me get up in now. The radio lights up. So what y'all think, man? Comment down below and grade us on our work. Tesla. Yes, sir. Y'all see the Tesla emblem in the back. Fahrenheit, all that junk. You know what I'm saying? The degrees up there. The, the temperature. Nice. That's a nice touch right there. I ain't going to hold y'all no longer, bro, because this was over 40 minutes. Didn't intend it to be that long. But y'all know me. I want to make sure y'all get this. You feel what I'm saying? So, please comment down below and let me know what's going on. Let me know how y'all feel, what y'all think, what y'all want to see next while I self-drive this joint. And, uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all want to see next, man. Other than that, guys, keep doing what y'all doing. God dog it. Keep doing what y'all doing. Keep subbing. Keep liking, man. Keep sharing. We on that 1600 sub grind, man. All right? Uh, keep running the numbers up, man. I love y'all, and I am gone.